Hello, my name is Brooke Lester. I'm at Garrett Evangelical Theological Seminary, and today I'm going to show you how to download and install the electronic flashcard application Anki. Um, I'm using Anki in my elementary he elementary biblical Hebrew course, uh, and I'll show you how to download and install that now. It's a free application uh, available both for Mac and for Windows. And so the first thing we're going to need to do is to go to the Anki website and install it. Uh, you can get to the Anki website one of two ways. You can type in the direct link. I'm using the web browser Chrome here. Obviously, you can use any web browser you like, Chrome, Firefox, Safari. And in the address window, I'm going to type Anki, A-N-K-I, S-R-S dot N-E-T, Anki, S-R-S dot net. And that takes me to the Yankee page. If you can't remember that, uh, if you're looking for it at some odd time, just type Anki, A-N-K-I, into a Google search box, and uh, the top hit or one of the top hits will be the Anki homepage. Uh, so right here on the Anki homepage, uh, there's a thing that says download right away, and I just need to go down to the operating system of my choice, Windows, Macs, Mac, Linux, etc. And let's type in, let's just click on the Mac, OS X. Uh, this is operating system 10 X. I think everybody must be on it by now. Um, and we're going to, and it can be any version of operating system 10 or X. And we're going to download the latest release, 128. So I click on that. And it downloads right away. Now in Chrome, you get a little window down here at the bottom left showing. You may Different browsers will show you maybe your downloads folder or a list of downloads or something like that. Uh, you can see I'm downloading the DMG now, and there are 27 seconds remaining on the download. Uh, while we're waiting for that, um, Anki uh, flashcard software, electronic flashcard software, uh, the way we're going to be using that in elementary biblical Hebrew is that we're going to have... Uh, 20 quizzes over the course of the year, 10 each term, and each of these is on a, Hebrew, a number of Hebrew words, nouns, verbs, etc., and we're going to be beginning, beginning with the most frequent, frequently attested words in the Hebrew Bible and work our way down from there. So, uh, the download is complete. And it comes as a DMG file that's pretty common for an installation program. and I'm going to show it in, I'm going to use this arrow to show it in Finder or to open it. I can just go ahead and click on Open. If I show it in Finder, it'll open my Downloads folder and show where it is. So let's open the Anki DMG file. Hmm. Okay, let's try Show in Finder. All right, Chrome, have it your way. Let's do it the old-fashioned way. We'll go to Downloads. Open Downloads in Finder. And find it ourselves. Anki, DMG. Now, I've got a program that saves things in a special way. You'll simply find it in your Downloads folder. I have a few subfolders that I have automatically routing things to. So I'm going to click on Anki DMG. And there we go. And this little icon is telling me that I can just take this icon and drag it onto this icon, my Applications folder. So here I go like this. Now, because I already have it installed, it's telling me that this already exists and do I want to replace it. And I don't want to do that. But you'll simply follow that step of dragging this onto this, and the application will be installed. And if you want to check it, you can just look at your Applications folder, and there you'll see Anki. And if you start it up, there it goes. Uh, for me, it has it automatically opening decks that I've used before. For you, this will be presumably a blank list. Um, and you'll want to open uh, the decks that I've created for you in our site. 
uh, you will have downloaded one or more of those decks. They'll be called things like probably quiz number one, quiz number two, whatever, however I've named them. And uh, so you'll just go to Fat Anki, open, and navigate to the deck that you want to open. And there it'll be. And it has certain presets on it for how it handles, uh, when it shows you things. You can pretty much plan to leave those defaults alone, at least until you get to know the program much better. And all you'll need to do is hit review. And away we go. We're reviewing vocabulary. So the first word is coal. Uh, I strongly encourage you to sound it out out loud every single time. Coal. And if you know what it is, you say it to yourself. If you don't know what it is, you don't. And you show the answer. And then you make a decision um, on how soon you want to see it again based on how that word was for you. If you had no idea what it is, you can hit soon. And, or again, and that means it'll show it to you again during this session. If you were pretty good with it, then it'll show it to you a day later. You just click good. If it was easy for you, click easy. It'll show it to you again in four days. And if it was very easy, then you click and it'll show it in eight days. These days and uh, change based on how Anki interprets your activity with the words. But that's the way that it starts out. All right, so let's say that I knew this. Uh, pretty well, but I'd like, let's say that I didn't know it at all. I'm going to hit soon again. Ora a. Uh, maybe I remember that this means to see, but I've got to think about it really hard. So I'll say that it was hard. I'll see it again in 16 days. Bane uh, means sun. That was maybe really was easy for me. I'll click easy and so on. Asa means to do or to make. Uh, maybe that was hard for me, and I click hard and so on and so on. Again, your results will vary on what you see down there. Um, Anki is, I've worked through quiz one to make sure that everything looks right, and so uh, it thinks that I know these things pretty well, which is why it's given me things like months and things like that. So that's it. Whenever you're done, uh, you'll get all the way through it, and then you can just get out of Anki, and there you go. So that's how you download and install and begin to use Anki uh, with the flashcard decks that I've created for our class, Elementary Biblical Hebrew. I hope you found this useful. Thank you very much for watching and listening. Goodbye.